Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate the second campus of Chitranjan National Cancer Institute in Kolkata tomorrow via video conferencing. The second campus of CNCI has been built in line with the Prime Minister's vision to expand and upgrade the health facilities in all parts of the country. Union Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports Anurag Thakur launched the pilot of NYKS Youth Volunteers online training today. The initiative aims to massively train 1.4 to 2 million youths in essential life skills and personality development, nation building, civic engagement, community mobilization, community service and instruments of empowerment. The Election Commission of India held a virtual meeting on Wednesday to review the poll preparedness for the forthcoming Assembly elections in Manipur. The meeting was chaired by Chief Election Commissioner Sushil Chandra. The term of State Assembly in Manipur is to expire on 19th of March and elections are scheduled for 60 Assembly constituencies. An RT-PCR test kit for detecting new coronavirus variant Omicron has been developed in India in partnership with Tata MD and the Indian Council for Medical Research that is ICMR. Director General of ICMR Dr. Balram Bhargav informed the testing kit has been approved by the Drugs Controller General of India. He said this test kit will give results in four hours. India's total coal production registered a growth of 6.74% in the last month. A total of 74.78 million tonnes were produced during December 2021 as compared to the same period in 2019. Coal-based power generation has registered a growth of 11.84% in the last year. The overall power generation in December 2021 has been 8.32% higher than the power generated in the same period in 2019 informed the old ministry.